All right. So then the other thing I did already know, um, because I collected quite a bit of the 25th anniversary uh, figures, is this suitcase that comes in this set um, that has the little Mars logo on there. I don't know if it was originally painted in the first one, but this came with uh, the Destro. Um, I think it was the first Destro figure that we got in the 25th um, anniversary line, and I'm trying to get it open, but I'm not having much luck with it. And I don't know about you guys, but at least with mine that came with my 25th anniversary figure, uh, or maybe it was the one that came in one of the later uh, five packs, it um, has a tendency to um, open up on its own. And one time I was trying to get my stuff all rearranged, and uh, the case has a little gun in it. Finally was able to get it open. So hopefully I'm getting that on camera. That there is a little gun that comes in it. And this one, as hard as it was to open, hopefully I won't have this problem. But you put the gun in there and there's this little peg in there that holds it. Kind of like the trigger finger. And then, and I'm sorry I can't really show that. And then you close it and hopefully this one will stay closed. The 25th anniversary one that I had at least didn't. I had this on my uh, table and it opened up. And this one, yeah, is thankfully staying closed. But it opened up and it springed the gun up in the air. And then it came down on the floor somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So um, if you guys um, don't get one that's that um, hard to keep closed, then no problems. But just kind of a heads up that it might do that. Um, so anyway, it's staying closed right now. So... Hopefully while I'm filming it won't. So that I already knew. Um, so that's kind of interesting in my opinion. But something else I did not think about. And another uh, reviewer that I will put in the description pointed out. And I don't know. I think this is one thing he just knew. And I don't think anyone pointed this out. And the one cool thing about hopefully me doing these videos after everyone else. And also trying to relate them to the movie is I didn't think anything about this. I just figured this was just another gun. But he had a very good eye. And what I see this as is this is the thing, that kind of flamethrower thing that leads to Destro's disfigurations, uh, you know, in the movie. So that's what this is. Or at least that's what I believe him um, and I, you know, totally think it looks like. So maybe you guys... Um, didn't realize that or know that, so that's kind of interesting. So I'll make sure I point out that he, um, you know, gave me that idea. I did not realize that originally. So then these are the guns that come with, uh, or at least are supposed to go to Destro the 24th. So they're two chrome um, guns. They look pretty much the same. And I think they're pretty much just like the ones that come with the regular Destro for the movie. Except for these don't separate. There's still one complete um, set. So, um, very cool. I don't know if he's going to hold these. Um, and again, trying to do all this stuff on camera. Um, but man, could you imagine him coming in? It's like, Destro's got some bling. So yeah, that one is a little hard to get in because of the thumb that I mentioned earlier. And the handles on these guns are rather um, thick. But yeah. And again, this one seems to be the thumb's better, but the hand isn't as deep. Or the palm isn't as deep. So I'm yeah, thinking they're just going to keep falling off. So that's really sad. I wonder whose hands these originally were or if they sculpted these. So yeah, it looks rather funky right there and he looks like he's bent over like a zombie or something, but 
Anyway, so there's Destro, his bling. You can see the shine coming off of them with that light. And he also comes with one of the guns that is getting quite a bit of use um, in the Rise of Cobra line. So this one, but again, it's chrome. So very cool. And I don't want to talk about it too much in this video, but another uh, YouTuber pointed out what you can do with his chrome plated mask that comes with it. So um, if you've already seen his video, then you know what I'm going to talk about later. But again, I'm trying to do these things kind of in the way that the movie uh, teaches us. So um, anyway, that's my series of videos for uh, the exclusive uh, Rise of Cobra. There was, of course, the Baroness 12-inch um, exclusive, but I do not have that one. Someone asked me recently if I had um, any other exclusives, and as far as I know, this is the first set that I've got, and that's kind of... Um, so, I should probably say right now. So, if you're done with wanting to see what I thought about uh, this figure set, totally awesome, totally worth the money. Um, definitely go find it if you can, um, and you enjoyed my videos and all that kind of stuff. But I'll just finish the last few minutes here with um, kind of what some people find okay and some people don't find okay about um, companies allowing there to be exclusives. Some people believe exclusives should only be at the convention. Um, and I may get some hate for this, but, you know, because I'm not somebody that's ever been to a convention and I can't afford to go to the convention, um, I still think there's quite a bit of cons and convention exclusives that are so out of my reach, you know. So there's still so many collectors that are going to get things that not everyone's going to get. Um, but with something like this that was less than 40 bucks, um, I'm really glad that Hasbro, I guess, originally only had it at the convention, and then later they put them on HasbroToyShop.com. And I'm really happy, of course, because these are awesome figures, and I really have hated it if I would have missed out on them. Um, because um, I couldn't afford to go to the convention. So anyway, somebody had asked recently if I had any other exclusives, and I don't. Um, not that they're not um, worth the price, but sometimes the prices are a little high. Um, and for me, one um, convention set of G.I. Joe figures sometimes is as much as I make in a week, and I can't really throw a week's worth of salary um, towards something, even if it's really cool and it's a great price and everything. Um, so actually I just realized something that I should have said that you guys probably already know. Um, somebody else had mentioned, and of course I know who you are, so, um, maybe I should just say. One of Three Nights was mentioning that this guy is bulkier than, uh, this Destro. And it's mostly, in my opinion, is because the armor is on top of another figure. Um, I don't think this lower part is, or the arms, but if you lift up his skirt, or you're able to a little bit, you see this kind of studded motif around it, and the reason why is because, uh, this is Iron Grenadier, uh, Destro, um, lower legs at least, and maybe... Yeah, I think even this top part might be as well. And I think that's why they put this on here. It's not only a throwback to the Iron Grenadier figure, but this mold maybe still has this underneath it or something like that. So they had to remold this on top. So um, that's one reason I think he's bulkier is because it's a figure with added um, stuff to it to make it look like a different figure. So anyway, so I think that's about it. Um, let me know if there's anything that I should have mentioned that I didn't, because again, even though I did quite a bit of videos for this, I could totally be forgetting something. So um, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. All right, bye.